Hi everyone! In today's video I want to make some Christmas coasters. Um, it's something that I really enjoy doing at the end of each year. Um, today's colors I'm going to be using some blues, gold, and silver. And each of my colors are all metallic so they're going to be really nice and shiny when they're all finished. Uh, and then once they're dry I will be I'm using some Christmas stencils that I have and I'll probably be using white paint to stencil on top. I may do a set of snowflake coasters and then um, pick out some other stencils for some other coasters. But I have a nice big stack of my wood hexagons. Uh, I actually figured out these are four and a half inch. Um, when I first bought them, I thought that they were four inch, but I ended up buying some more that were four inch and they were just a little bit too small. So for me, a four and a half inch coaster when it comes to a hexagon is a really nice size. For something just like wood circles, four inch is perfect. But because of the shape, um, you get your four and a half inch from corner to corner and then from top to bottom, it's a little bit shorter. So if you actually wanna use them as coasters, um, I haven't tried five inch, but I like these. And I haven't made any Christmas coasters with the hexagons yet, so I'm going to do that today. And this is just a couple of day process. I let them all dry, obviously, before I stencil them. So um, it'll be a couple of days before I get the stencils on, but I'm just going to be dipping um, my coasters onto my surface and doing, so my backgrounds will be dips. And then, like I said, I'll be doing stencils on top. Uh, I do have this dark blue, but I think for the most part, I'm going to focus on the lighter blue and then have one set with the gold and then one or two sets with the silver and then go from there. You could also do, I do want to do some more sets of these. And so I'll have another video where I'm going to be doing some metallic red and green. Um, and I'll probably also use some metallic white in those. But I'm just pouring my paint down and then just taking my coaster and dipping it right into all of that paint. And then just lifting it up and oh, that one's really pretty. I think that light blue is going to look really nice. I don't want a ton of dark blue in these. Um, but I think just that, that for I've used these <laughs> right around this time every year. I always pick these colors and I just really enjoy the way that they um, all look together, especially for just the holiday feel instead of just using red and green all the time. So I'm just going to keep on dipping and you can just use your same puddle of paint. And we just keep getting some really nice colors here. That one, the coaster was still showing. Um, you could also dip the sides if you wanted to. I'm not super concerned about it. Well, yeah, you can dip the sides just so that your um, sidewall of the coaster also looks like the front of the coaster. Or you can just leave it as is. It's just your preference. All right. So I'll probably go back through and dip that other one later, but I want to just keep on dipping for this set of coaster. And then I'll add some gold for my other set. Oh, that's really pretty too. Um, if you're finding that you're running out of paint, sometimes I just take my stir stick and just scoop it right back to the middle. As long as it's not getting too muddy, you can just keep reusing your same puddle of paint. We'll do one more of these and then we'll do some gold. Oh. Okay. Mm, want a little bit more light blue in this one. We'll try that one more time. There we go. So those will all look really nice when they're dry. 
I find that for some reason the Floetrol really helps make cells even without any silicone. So I do have some really small cells in them. Um, you could always add some silicone to make even more cells. But I'm just going to scoop my freezer paper over a little bit and start a second small puddle for my gold. Um, and you can also let these puddles dry. I'm working right on freezer paper. It's also called butcher's paper. There's a shiny side to it. And when you let your paint dry on it, it'll peel right off. So you can use your paint for um, other projects. And when you're dipping, you get some really nice designs throughout your paint. You can get some really nice cells in there too. So you could always use the skins, cut them out and put them on a wood piece and make some more coasters that way. And again, I'm just going to do a little bit of that dark blue, more of this light blue, and then we're gonna add gold to this set. And we'll just start dipping. Instead of dipping the side, I'm just kind of running my finger along the side to get them covered in paint. Ooh, that's really pretty too. That gold is gonna look really nice against those other colors when it's all dry. And set those aside. Pick another area, just push it right in your paint. Add a little bit of gold right through the middle. And then I'm just going to add a touch more of that blue. There we go. Yeah, these are going to be really pretty. I like, I really like using uh, metallic colors for the coasters. Um, once you put resin on them, it, they just pop and the colors just look amazing. So that is just my preference, but you can use whatever colors you want. And then, like I said, I like to stencil them. You can create some really cute gifts for um, Christmas or birthdays or pretty much any holiday that you can find stencils for. All right, so we'll let these dry. Um, they will, mine take a little bit longer. I'm in a band working in my basement. Um, so sometimes they take like two or three days. Most of the time dips are pretty quick because you don't have a ton of paint on your surface. Um, but like I said, I'm also gonna let this excess paint dry and um, I'll use that for other projects in the future. So it's been a couple of days and my uh, dipped coasters are all dry. Um, for some reason, when I was dipping them, I didn't realize that I did five of the silver. Um, so I, I'm obviously not going to use all five. I'm just going to do sets of four. So I'll just reuse that other one. Um, but before I started stenciling, I also wanted to show, these are my little piles of, or puddles of paint that I had that I was dipping my coasters into. And it's all dry. And like I said, with freezer paper, you can just peel it right off. So I may, um, I'll use portions of these for some pendants and some bookmarks. And the metallic colors are gonna look really good underneath those glass domes. So this is just something that I'll keep for use later on. But for right now, I just have my stencils. Um, I have two different uh, stencils with snowflakes on them. So I'm going to use one stencil for one set and my other stencil for my second set. And then later on when I do some more coasters, I'm actually going to get some of my other Christmas stencils out. Um, but I have my really nice <clears throat> thick white paint that I'm going to be using. Um, this is the same brand um, that I use for, uh, with my gold paint also. It's called Utrecht, it's U-T-R-E-C-H-T. Um, so let me just get, just show you, it's all nice and thick. So what I'm going to do is just hold my stencil down. For my coasters, I don't really tape the stencil down. Um, 
You don't really need to for paintings. It's just a little bit easier, but I'm going to just decide where I want my stencil design and then just gently use my spatula and um, just put that paint right on the stencil. And there was a bunch of paint on the lid, so I'm just gonna scoop that right into my jar of paint, set that aside, and just start stenciling. I really like the thicker paint though. It works really well for me. Um, there are specific paint brushes that you can get that are for stenciling. They're really big round, um, and you kind of like tap the paint on with them. I just haven't tried those. I should probably just buy some and try it out because I stencil a lot and it might be a little bit easier than using my palette knives. But these little silicone knives are really easy to use. Once the paint's dry, it just peels right off or you can just rinse them with soap and water. But now I got, look at that. That is super cute. So I really like this stencil, so I'm gonna keep using this one for this set. Uh, I've got a little bit of paint on the edge from where the design was. That is going to turn out really well. So we'll set that to the side and let it dry. Um, once they're stenciled, they dry really quickly. So we'll get this one down. All right, so I just took some water and a paper towel and just wiped off my stencil so that um, the paint that was on there won't smear onto this coaster. Uh, and then I'm just going to put it back down and do this again. But a little bit of soap and water takes it right off. Um, just straight water will rinse it off, especially while the uh, paint is still wet on there. That one also looks really nice. Again, I'm just gonna to touch up the side there to where I had a little bit of extra paint. And I'm just gonna keep going with the same process on the other coasters for this set. And we'll get a nice picture of those when they are all dry. All right, I'm gonna move on to the gold ones and I'm gonna do just the same um, technique, but I have just some different stencils. Um, this one's a little bit bigger, so I have um, multiple areas that I can work from. So I'll probably do like one corner and then move down to the next corner and try and get just some varying designs on this one. But we'll see how this looks. I think I actually wanna start down here. And again, we'll just take my spatula with a nice amount of paint and just gently start going over the stencil. That one also looks really pretty. So this nice thick white paint is working out well. When I tried some Halloween stencils, I used some different white paint and it did not turn out well. So the nice thick paint is the way to go. Move on to the next one. I'm gonna use just a different corner of the stencil. And I'm just gonna take a minute, clean my stencil off, and then do the next one.
All right, so I have that set of coasters all done. Let's put those in. Those are really cute. I think I actually like the other stencil better, but snowflakes are always really nice. So I will wait for these to dry and then get some final pictures. Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like I said, I want to do some uh, green and red ones with maybe some metallic white and then stencil some more Christmas designs. So I'll have some more coming up, but I really like this for some Christmas gifts or some really cute just Christmas decorations. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, just let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.